us uh, try to find out how can we reach forward. Sometimes we are talking about stagnation. We talk about the spirit of limitation. How can we reach forward? As you know, how can we reach forward? I realize that many times when we want to move forward, we want to copy other people. Or we suppress others for our benefit. Reaching forward, it has got nothing to do with anyone. Tell me, reaching forward, it has got nothing to do with anyone but God. One of our mistakes is we look on others, how far are they, and we begin to think we can be above them and develop formulas of reaching forward. We love to move forward. We want to move forward, but we don't know how. When I, when I was coming here, this man came to me again and said, if truly God is with you, wherever you are, God can still move. Amen. If God is with you, tell your neighbor, if God is with you, God is with you. wherever you are, wherever God can still move. If you can check, let me give an example by ministries. Ministries where God is working very well is where people are not even expecting. People rise from nothing and raise them like Nazareth where everybody say nothing good is coming from there. If we want to move forward, we need to know that we need God more because it's him who lifts his people. If we try to develop our own strategies, they will bake fires on us. Whatever is not from God, it will never be of God. Whatever is not from what? It will never be of God. And it will never last. That is why you see people rise, 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 rise. Talk it, talk it. Later you find they are not there. If we want to move forward, we need God to move us. A man is having ability to have strategies. I mean, a man has got ability to develop strategies. For example, I can develop a strategy of making people to come to my church. But if it's not from God, it will never last. I mean, outside, it will be like of God, but inside, you find it's Satan. We need to reach a level where we know that we owe God nothing except what he did for us. If we realize that, oh, he gave us love, we'll follow him, and we'll try to find a way of moving forward from him, not ourselves. One of our mistakes is we are in ourselves. That is why maybe all of us, we need deliverance. Because deliverance teaches us to move forward. I'm sure you understand that. Deliverance makes us to have awareness. For example, if you know your mistakes, you cannot repeat them second time. If they have hurt you, that is deliverance for you. But most of the time, what we normally do, we find when we want to move forward, learning from other people's mistakes, we find that we are focusing on other people, end up coping others, learning from others, but not learning from God. And this thing, you'll find that even another one will learn from you and do the same. Remember what the Bible says, whatever you want men to do for you, 
do, carry on doing that to others. This is the principle that God has set. I clap you today. I'll be clapped tomorrow. So for us to move forward, we need what? God. Not stretch this. That is why, you know, most of the times, our stretch this makes us to count and end up failing to sleep. Our stretch this, they, they makes us to count and we find that we, the precious thing that we need, sleeping, we can't find it. Have you ever find that, you know, you have all but you can't sleep? You find that you have, you have a house that you don't enjoy. After you gather all, after you, you find that you are known everywhere, but inside you don't have peace. Because what you are doing is for yourself. It's not God involved. Remember what God blesses, he makes sure that there will be also joy in you. Our challenge is today is, you see me holding mic like this, you want to do the same. And you don't know what I went through. You need God. God will shape your character. God will do what? Shape your character. Your character will be molded. Like now, I came late here because I was not here. I was not, I was not home. And then some of you don't understand if I come late. You can still copy me and come late. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. The issue is we have got a problem. Our problem is based on the issue of what? Okay, this one is doing pretty. Even me, I do it. But you forget that your head is round. I mean, th there are things, we are so much on other people's things than ourselves. If I want to move forward, I must check your weakness. And sometimes you think it's a weakness. Can this a lesson to you? Many Christians, they can't move forward. Why? Because your focus is in men. It's not in God. If your focus is in God, you will ask God any decision you take. Before you take a decision, you say, God, must I take this day? It won't be influenced by anyone. Christians who are going to, to heaven, they are not influenced by anyone. Because in heaven, there's no stop sign. You are led by the direction of the Spirit. The Spirit of God will take you there. Another one will take you there. No accident. And the Spirit of God won't contradict itself. What we need to, when we want to move forward, we need God. We need what? We need God. We don't need friends. We don't need to show anything. Like myself, I'm here. I don't need anybody. I need what? What about you? You need God. God knows where he took you, and he knows where he's taking you. Where's like our God? Uh, he, you know, do you know that we don't need to defend our God? He's the one who said the battle belongs to me. Himself, he said, don't defend me. Remember the man who tried to hold the Ark of the Covenant? You remember? Yes. Eh? What happened to him? So now, if we reach a level where we find that we are defending God, it means our God is not real God. We need, the, we need God to move us. Like myself, I'm here in Winnie Mandela. I need God. If God tells me, be in Winnie Mandela, I need him. That's why God can still do more when I'm in Winnie Mandela than in any other place. God can still bless me more when I'm in Winnie Mandela than when I'm in Captain Park. God can still bless me. I can still frighten you when I'm in Winnie Mandela, when you're in town. Because 
I need only God. I can intimidate you. I'm just praying for people like this, doing what God wants me to do. You can find that you've got a problem about me because you know why? Because you're afraid. Because what you're doing, God is not baking you up. You need what? Tell them you need God. Without God, you won't go far. You, you remember when these people were coming together? They began to talk about, you know, yeah, there was another man called Judas. He came and gathered people. We kill him. His followers scatter us. Another one came. Even this one, Jesus, if we kill him, all these followers will go. Another one say, if it's not from God, but if it's from God, we'll end up fighting God. So you, if you are following God, whoever fights you is fighting well. We need God to move forward. Tell about we need God to move forward. So, I was learning, it's like our Christianity is based on who's there, who's not there. You need God. Our Christianity is based in miracles. How can I get it? If I get it, I'm a big man of God. We need God. You can still have nothing. When you have God, you have got everything. Like now, I'm here in Winnie Mandela. I have... I mean, my small car outside there. For me to get another car, I need one. For me to buy another house, I need one. For me to move forward, I need one. For me to stand, for me to talk, for me to think. Whatever you do, you need God. So our Christianity is like, sometimes we'll say, God also gave us brains. He, he gave us brain so that we think about him. We ask him, we pray concerning his word. And he will do it. We, we are crying to move forward. Christianity everywhere. Like now, if you can look at the international community. They need God more because they know where they come from. Here, we don't have a problem. Here, we can be robbed easy. Anybody can come and just tell us whatever we are We agree. Because we don't need God, we need people. But outside there, you are tested. Are you real? Are you sure you are real? But here in South Africa, we did what? God. So this is the message that I'm giving to the whole world. We need God. We need what? To do what? To move forward. It seems as if we are developing a lot of formulas of getting what we want. For example, if I'm in the church here, if I realize that I don't get money here, okay, the formula is bring seeds. Maybe I can get money or do this. Maybe I can. We need God in everything. Our God has not failed us. He can still leave us for a while, knowing that when we are holding him, he will bless us. Don't look at your situation like God can't do anything. Don't look at your situation like sometimes he leaves you so that you learn something. So that when you reach there, after you, are, you have learned, you will never lose what he's giving you. I don't know if you're hearing that. If, you know, uh, I think my wife, she told me several times this day. And she said, we must never do anything for TV. I, when I was studying the issue of TV, you know, Omega TV. I mean, there were many Nigerians. I think I was South African only there. He says, okay, you have agreed to go to TV. I'm also standing with you. But we must never do anything. I knew what she was telling me. She was telling me that we don't need many people to show them we are called so that they give us what we need. We need what? Amen. 
Because when she told me that, I said, oh, it means I can go there. Because whatever we show you on TV, we have shown you the best than the less. Whatever you see on media is something to attract you. But they say, there are other things that are happening that you have not seen. If, like if you come to the service here, you realize this has happened, but it has not been shown on TV. So now, listen to this. That's what Mama told me. He says, if you are going on TV, you must never. You see, I've been following you. I've been following you. We must never do things for people. We need. You can still stay with your blessing and you don't bless us, but God will do it. Amen. Because it's God who moves us. Amen. Can we just forget this tragedy? We seek Him only. You know, there's a song that these people from outside, they say, God will take care of you. You know the song, God will take care of you. God will take care of you. You know the song? How many of you know the song? You know the song? So now, our challenge is we are moving away from God now. We are moving away from God. As we are moving away from God, now our minds are connected. And after that, the church is a place where sin dwells. Because where mind rules, sin is established. We make sure that we do this, we crush it or cover it. You know, it's when mind is working. But where the Spirit of God is, exposes everything. So there will be confession in every wrong thing. I'm praying that when you leave this service, you tell yourself, before I do anything, I need what? Even before I do the garden, I need God. Like myself, I cannot come out from my house without prayer. Not because I'm prayerful, because I need God. It's as good as you can't sleep without prayer. I'll take my wife and hold my wife like this. We pray. Because we need God. We must depend totally to God. And that's how God will bless us or heal us or whatever he wants to do with us. Whether he heals us or not, he's still the same God. Is it true? So now, but we need him. So when I look at you, I pray that from today, when you see rejection, failure, whatever you are seeing, you tell us, oh, I need God. I need God. Every day, I need what? I need what? If you need him, you will see yourself being a testimony. I am just praying that from today, this God you are searching, you find him. After you find him, you won't complain about this or that. Like myself, you know, when you were hearing the accounts of my wife were closed, whatever, whatever. I was just saying, don't worry. Don't even worry about that. Don't worry. If I, you can ask her several times, I say, don't even worry about it. Are they closed? That's fine. Don't worry. What's the reason of closing them? Okay? Okay, we understand. Don't worry. So, let's see that it's not account that bring what we need. Is what? How many times I say, don't worry, Mama? Many times. Is when you are saying what? When I'll be asking why these people are doing like this. I say, don't even worry. <laughs> don't even worry. Because when I started the ministry, I didn't have account. So if they close it, the one who called me, we still provide what I need. 